William, look. Our first discovery. Well done, Louis. It is a woodpecker crow of some sort. And if his heavenly melodies are any sign of things to come, I think the Lord has blessed our mission indeed. Very good. I shall name him after you, my good friend. You shall be called Clark's Nutcracker. Ha ha! We dying tonight. No! That poor thing. He was flying home to fill the bellies of his younglings. Yes, well, he'll be filling our bellies tonight. God has entrusted all of nature to us. To work and keep the land, to care for his creatures, not to needlessly destroy them. That's a very nice thought. But your sanctimonious platitudes will not save you. For a naturalist, you sure don't seem to know much about nature. Out here in the wild, it's kill or be killed. If we spare every animal you form an attachment to, we will perish in a fortnight. But President Jefferson has tasked us to document these creatures. And so we will. If you would like to study this bird before I roast it over the fire, by all means, go ahead. Once rigor mortis sets in, it should be quite easy to trace with your pencil. Heartless. My dearest Abigail, thus far our journey has been successful. I think often of you, your voice, your face, and your gooseberry pies, of course. If only you were here by my side, rather than this brute, William Clark. A more calloused soul I have never met. But you always encourage me to look for the best in people. I will keep my heart open toward him. All my love, Merryweather. What is that you're writing, Lewis? Why, it's a letter to my Abigail. And how do you plan on corresponding with your lady friend from all the way out here? Greetings, dear sirs! Ah! Oh, Clark. This is Eagle. He is President Jefferson's official bird. Sounds more like a silly novelty to me. I know I'm young and small, but one day I hope to do something of great importance like the two of you. I'll deliver these back to the president's office post-haste. I'm much obliged. Do you have any letters, sir? No. Now, Clark, surely you have someone back home to write to? <laughs> Afraid not. No family? Not at the present moment. Perhaps a, a lady love in waiting? <laughs> no. <laughs> Poor William Clark, the loneliest man in the world! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I... I... I didn't mean that. Perhaps it's best you be on your way. Yes, Siegel. Don't you have more pressing matters to attend to, like polishing Jefferson's shoes or hanging out his undergarments? Be on your way. Uh, I will take my leave. Clark, I know that Eagle spoke out of turn, but that was no reason to be so curt. Do you really have no friends or family? No one you long to see? Truthfully, there is one beauty I've had my eye on. Oh? She is quite a sight. Describe her to me. Well, she's tall, dark, and weighs over 600 pounds. Oh my. She has stocky legs, a wet nose, and is covered in shaggy black hair. She sounds like a rare beauty. She is a bloodthirsty killer and goes by the name of Ursus Americanus. Though most men know her simply as... Black Bear. Oh, I long to be in her presence. With her cold, lifeless body beneath my feet. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. oh, William. Always pulling my leg. Open up your heart for once. I am. What? I loved a woman. For a time. And this beast took her from me. You'll excuse me. 
I must scout the upcoming terrain. <laughs> 